guys welcome back to our youtube channel and today's video is for our august youtube hop the theme for this month's hop is cherries so if you leave a comment on this video and then also check out all of our other design team members videos they will all be with the cherry theme and when you leave a comment you're entered to win a 15 dollars cherry on top gift card so make sure to check out the other videos and there's always so many great ideas and inspiration on those videos as well. Because we are a cherry on top, I wanted to make a cherry on top album and include the photos and some of our history of being a, a cherry on top. I'm creating this album using a snap binder and if you've seen some of my other projects before, you know that I love making the snap flipbooks and snap binders. I decided to go with the binder for this one because I thought it would be easier to add more photos in later or additional pages in later as we get more photos. But I really love uh, the albums and how quick they are to use and you can make an entire photo album uh, fairly quickly. So when I create these albums, I don't think I've actually ever created a whole process video of how I make them. And I get questions a lot like how do you cut down the 12 by 12 papers? And this is how. I start by picking out what pages I want to be the full 6 by 8 sheets of. And I'll cut them in half vertically, so 6 inches, and then across 8 inches. And that gives me the 6 by 8 paper that I can add to the full page pocket. And then I have a four by six inch card left over that I can fill in the smaller pockets. One of the other things I like to go through first is use all the journaling cards. So I started by cutting all of those up and I added them in the pockets. My beginning stages are really just to fill up all of the pages in the album. Uh, I know that a lot is going to change and that I likely won't even use all of the papers that I cut up, but just to have a base and to start moving forward on it I think is important, especially when working with a larger project like this. Next, because it is a cherry theme, I went to the Cricut Design Space and I picked out a bunch of free cherries that I cut out onto some white cardstock and then I'm using inks to color them. So this is going to be some of my main cherry embellishments and I have a goal of adding at least one cherry on each page. So we'll see how that goes. The Crafters Workshop had this really pretty cherry blossom stencil that I thought would be really pretty to use. So I am using it with some of their white pearl stencil butter and adding it on a couple different pages. The second page I wanted to have a little bit more of a pink ish red tone so I added some of their red stencil butter and just mixed it on top of the uh, white pearl. Something that I really like with the snap binders is they have these cool divider pages and there's also um, like regular paper pages in there as well and I just really like the mix of textures and feels as you're flipping through this book. I'm using the 2 inch cherry tape a lot in this book. I think using the tape rather than glue, especially this larger tape, gives a little bit more structure to the pages. And I like how quickly I can move along with the sticking the papers down using the 2 inch. And I think it's just really great. Along with all of the photos that I wanted to add into this album, I also wanted to add some journaling pieces about Cherry on Top. So I'll read them here for you now. So that first page that had the picture of the building, that was a photo of the first building that a cherry on top was in. But actually at that time it was called Stickers Galore. So it says, A cherry on top began in a little shoebox full of stickers more than 20 years ago. Our founder, Kristen, who actually was my aunt and Rachel's mom, um, started it all in her basement. Shoe boxes were filled with shelves on dividers full of stickers inside. We were known as stickers galore. A few years later, the basement was getting too small and we moved into a building on Gratiot Road in Saginaw. And actually, I remember visiting, I was still a pretty young kid then, but I remember visiting and my uh, aunt giving me stickers to play with as a kid there. 
Uh, the storefront was stocked with all kinds of stickers and scrapbooking supplies, and the back rooms had space for shipping and offices. She eventually bought out the next door suite and knocked down the walls for even more room. Eventually, we outgrew that building and it was time to move on. We moved two more times, ending at our current location at 2216 Midland Road, Saginaw. With the expansion came a new name, a cherry on top crafts. We wanted our crafty community to know we supplied more than just stickers and scrapbooking supplies. We expanded our products into art supplies, general crafts, needle arts, and so much more. Everything can be found online, but we also have a storefront as well. Why the cherries? The inspiration behind the name A Cherry on Top Crafts came about because we loved the idea of the last little piece to add to your project and that final step to creating something beautiful. It's just like a sweet cherry on top of a hot fudge sundae. In April of 2018, after a long and courageous battle with cancer, we lost our leader, Kristen. Kristen's children now share ownership of the company and with the help of the amazing Cherry on Top staff and to aunts. One of the aunts is my mom. Uh, we keep her legacy going. This isn't just a craft store to us. It's a piece of Kristen that we will always cherish. I just love what journaling can add to a scrapbook page. It just brings so much meaning. Uh, I took this text from our story page, so you can read more on our website. Um, and Rachel actually wrote most of that. And I think it's just really nice and heartfelt and talks about a cherry on top. So that's why I wanted to add it into the cherry on top little album that I've got going here. So mostly what I've been doing here is filling up all of these pages. I usually when creating these books, I go through each page multiple times and just add more and more embellishments each time I pass through it. So my process is usually step one, I get all of my patterned papers into all of the pocket pages. Step two, I add all of the photos. And then step three, I go back through the book and embellish. I personally really love the step three, the embellishing, and I think that's what really brings the whole book together. I had been trying to think about what I wanted to do on the cover and I didn't really know, I didn't even knew, know what I wanted to do even when I started adding this ribbon here, but I got it glued down so it wasn't moving after this. Um, I ended up doing some stenciling and I wish I would have done that before gluing down the ribbon, but I am working with it. I decided to take this beautiful uh, cherry blossom stencil and like I did on the pages, add some pearl white texture butter and I was very nervous doing this because it is the cover and I was just really scared to mess it up but it turned out really beautifully and then I took a paintbrush and just filled over the areas closer to the seam that I didn't want to get too close to um, with getting paint on that ribbon. This is where it would have been easier to add that ribbon second after I had uh, added the stencil over it so I could cover up anything, but in the end it turned out great. With albums like these, I really like to have a few items that just continue regularly throughout the book. So in this album I chose the red baker's twine and buttons. Um, I, I'm kind of seeing the buttons as cherries, these red buttons, and um, I'm placing them on almost every page. I'm also finding places for all of my cut files and I printed out quite a few cherry cut files, I guess maybe around 10, but um, I ended up finding a place for all of them. And also because the theme of the hop is cherries, I want cherries on every page, so that could either be some red buttons that look like cherries, uh, a cut file with cherries on it, or a photo with cherries. I find that using cut files for a very specific theme like this is really the way to go because I knew I wanted a bunch of cherries but there wasn't a lot of cherry stickers or stencils or embellishments so I really relied on the cut files a lot for this book. And like I said I 
my favorite part is embellishing and I just had a lot of fun adding all of these buttons and flipping through the pages a bunch of times. I like to use as many of the stickers as I can. So I have the stickers from this collection, the crafting collection from Echo Park that I'm using. And then I also pulled out just anything red. So like the red twine and ribbon and these enamel dots that I used as cherries. And with all of the red buttons and the crafting stickers, I think it's just really coming together. So in the beginning of the book, I have some photos of the first um, stickers glore building and photos of my aunt, either at craft shows or here at a cherry on top. And then the rest of the book, I have photos of the staff and the fun things that we do, like our get togethers. We had a pet day. This is photos of Rachel and I at Creativation and just regular working photos too. The building that we're in has changed a lot over the past few years uh, while I've been there and I think it's really fun to show some of those changes. So like the painting and the deconstruction and moving offices. So I wanted to show some of that in here as well. We also renovated our storefront area. So if you are a local around the Saginaw area, come check us out. I really was debating a bit with what collection that I wanted to use because I knew I wanted there to be a lot of cherries, but I wasn't finding a collection that had many cherries in it. But then I looked at the Let's Create collection from Echo Park and I thought it would be perfect because it has great colors that I love to use. Also all of the crafty images and icons that are perfect for a craft store. This collection does have a little bit of sewing and painting, but it has a lot more uh, scrapbooking uh, related themes than I think most other crafty collections do, which was perfect. One, because this is a scrapbook, and two, because Cherry on Top started with scrapbooking, so I think it's important to use that to document about it. How I embellish is sort of how I'd embellish any other type of scrapbook page or maybe even more like a card because it's a little smaller, but I like to cluster the embellishments and I try to keep the photos as the focal point and I like to add a lot of layering. When I thought I had this all done, I still flipped through it a few more times and kept adding more buttons, more stickers, more ephemera. I love this intro page and it says being creative is not just a hobby, it's a way of life and I really believe that. These first few pages are photos of my aunt and our cherry on top story. And here we're moving into um, more recent photos. Here's Rachel and I at Creativation. And here is our updated storefront area. There's us renovating it and painting all the walls. Here is photos from our Bring Your Pet to Work day, which was a lot of fun. Here are people in the warehouse and getting to work. Here's photos of Rachel and I teaching our classes. And each spring, Clint and I will go to the store and pick out some new flowers to get planted in our front area. Here's photos from our Christmas party and photos with the photo booth. And there's our final group photo. I hope this gives you some inspiration on using a snap binder and thanks for watching.